Welcome to the NPTE Final Frontier Podcast, helping one student at a time. Visit NPTEFF.com to enroll today so you can pass tomorrow. Thank you for joining us here on the NPTE Final Frontier Podcast. My name is David. And my name is Emily. Today, we will be discussing some helpful stress management tips. Now, it is important to note that there are so many different and beneficial ways to manage stress, and this really can be an individualized approach. However, David and I did want to provide our listeners with some just general tips that we have personally found helpful to better manage our own personal stresses not only while studying for the NPTE, but also just in our everyday lives. Now, there are both short-term and long-term management techniques that can be beneficial to utilize, and they are both important to consider. So first, David is going to dive into those short-term techniques and what the purpose of those short-term techniques would be, and then I'm going to dive into the the long-term side of things. David forgot to unmute himself. Please hold. (laughs) There we go. Unmuted. It happens. But it was my first time recording. (laughs) (laughs) So now let's talk about the short, uh, the short time in ones. So what strategies can relieve stress fast? You need to relieve that stress right now. These helpful techniques can be fast acting to help you lower your stress as you need it right in the moment now. One of the big ones, meditation. Meditation is so important. Just to being able to zone yourself out of that entire environment and take yourself to a deeper place and just shutting down, pressing pause. So this way you can regroup yourself, restart yourself and regain that focus is so important. So if you don't know how to meditate, Now is a great time to start meditating. We have episodes previously talking about meditation and walking you through some meditation steps. So you can go back and always listen to those episodes. Something very awesome is deep breathing. Deep breathing, just like you would do with the patient, maybe some personal breathing. You can talk to you talk to these patients when they're maybe they're having an anxiety attack. Or maybe they don't want to do something and they're crying. They're hysterical. You don't know what to do. They're, they don't want to do it. They don't know what, what do you do. Breathe. Relax. You tell them it's going to be okay. You support them. So why are you not doing that for yourself? Breathe. Relax. Support yourself. Just close your eyes. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. and continue that process. And notice that when I breathe in through the nose, I hold it for a few seconds. And then when I exhale, I'm exhaling very long. And then I'm also inhaling very long. Don't do it as a rapid pace. I know right now you're trying to work it fast because you wanna remain, you wanna get that peace, you wanna get that calm and that relaxation, but That's not going to help you out. You really have to be focused when you're doing these exercises. Something that's really awesome is also muscle relaxation. This is progressive muscle relaxation, and that involves relaxing all of the muscles in your body, group by group. To practice, you can start with just a few deep breaths, and then you practice tightening and relaxing each muscle group, starting with your forehead, working your way all the way down to your toes. And what's really nice is I've had experience with this, and one of my first experiences with this technique, I thought it was so out of the world bizarre, because I've never heard of it before. You have an everybody just shutting down, thinking about, all right, clench your forehead, clench your forehead, all right, your biceps and everything and going all the way down. And I'm like, okay, but then you have to, you have to buy into it. And it was so 
so valuable. I actually got to do this at a wrestling camp that I went to. It was a 28, it was Jay Robinson, 28 day intensive wrestling training camp that was located at the University of Minnesota. Um, and if you know amateur wrestling, NCAA wrestling division one, you know, University of Minnesota and you know, Jay Robinson. And I went to that intensive camp. And one of the things that they did were, was that they had us all in the gymnasium and they played a audio, just a soothing audio. And then you would have Jay Robinson just speaking to you, telling you how to relax, telling you and relax, just like what I've done to you in other episodes of the podcast. And then they go into the walking your way, working your way through the entire body. And it is so, so helpful, especially when you do it and you take it serious. And with practice, you'll learn to recognize tension and tightness in your muscles, and you'll be able to relax more easily. Each time you practice, however, you should experience a feeling of relaxation swooping through your body. Next up, I think I know a little bit about this one, positive self-talk. And of course, just like all of you, I have to remind myself that I have to talk positive to myself because it's so easy to put yourself down, to attack yourself. Maybe it's about your actions, your words, your appearance even whatever it is you need to talk to yourself and you need to give yourself that positive uplift that you require to keep on going it all starts up here and just know that you are not alone so sometimes if you do try to do that self positive speaking to yourself and it's not working please know that you can always reach out to somebody on the final frontier team you could always reach out to your friends and family and sometimes you may even find that it's necessary to reach out to somebody such as a therapist or a social worker or a psychologist. And there is no problem about that at all. There is no issues with that. Please, if you need some help to walk, walk, just walk you through that relaxation and looking at yourself a little bit deeper and finding that peace and bringing you to peace, please use all of the resources that you can. Emily. Go ahead. Tell us about the long-term effects and what you could be doing. Sure. And David, I before I even touch upon the long-term, I love how you did mention that sometimes we do need to seek out more help. Sometimes we can't just utilize, you know, podcasts, inspirational videos on our own. We need a little bit more guidance. And there is such a sense and strength in being able to be mindful and aware that maybe you need more guidance throughout this difficult time. And there is strength in recognizing that and pursuing additional help. So that is definitely something we recommend to any of our listeners who feel like they need a little extra support and guidance. And know, now, and, and also know that it's very normal and it's very common and that oh, it's okay to do so. You know, I yeah. know a lot of a lot of students and a lot of people may have connotations already perceived uh, put onto those topics and everything like that. But know that you are safe when you do stuff like that, and that it's okay to do so. And all of you are incredible. So of course, Emily. Now, go for all it. of those tips that David just gave you guys. The biggest thing is first we need to become mindful and aware as to when we're starting to experience this stress. The earlier we can detect that we are in an environment or we're starting to have this sense of stress, this wave of maybe anxiousness coming upon us, we need to be able to detect that earlier so that we can incorporate those short-term um, techniques like meditation, deep breathing, muscle relaxation that David had said. That's one of the first steps, early detection, because we want to try to prevent this spiral from occurring instead of trying to manage and navigate our stress once we're already kind of in that heightened state. But one of the really beneficial things to do is also long-term stress management. So what can you do to calm mental stress over the long-term? Certain habits can really promote resilience to stress and increase our overall wellness. It's really important to create a lifestyle that will help us ward off this stress or 
better deal with these challenges in a healthy way when we are faced with them because stress is inevitable. Hardships are inevitable. But what do we do when that hardship or that stress is in our path? And that is where these long-term management techniques can really be helpful to better help us navigate those options. Now, one of the first things is limiting excessive caffeine. Now, I know a lot of us, especially as PT students, tend to have a heavy hand with the coffee, right? Or maybe the herbal teas, which are also caffeine. And caffeine does increase certain hormones within our body that can put us in a more heightened, stressful environment. So really try to limit excess caffeine and also limit excess alcohol consumption. If you're trying to celebrate after you did great on an exam, you know, just make sure we're really utilizing caffeine and alcohol within moderation. And to kind of go hand in hand with those things, I also want to touch upon diet. Diet is key. There are so many research studies and links to proper diet, proper nutrition, um, promoting improved gut health which can really lead to overall improvements in our quality of life, which that's not even going to be something I touch upon in this video. video. Um, I mean, podcast, sorry, we're doing a recording, so I feel like I'm on a video. But um, it's also something I'm very passionate about right now is proper diet and nutrition and the links to our quality of life, our gut health, our stress management. So maybe that's something we'll touch upon more in the future. But Definitely seek maybe even a nutritionist if this is an area that you feel like you're really lacking and it's impacting your day-to-day lifestyles. Um, And also social support. So David already touched upon maybe reaching out to a licensed professional for more guidance, but also leaning on your family and friends as needed. Don't feel like you're alone, whether you're reaching out to other PT students that are also going through the Final Frontier curriculum, or it's students that you graduated with, or just family and friends who aren't even within our profession. It's so important for you to have um, that extra social support throughout these difficult challenges we face in life. I'm just going to add another uh, profession that we didn't bring up with this is your professors. Mm -hmm. Your professors are, they play such a big factor throughout your entire schooling And if you are trying to manage with that stress, please definitely feel that it's okay to reach out to your professors as as well. There may be another professor there that they've been there for a very long time and they can help work you through, uh, walk you through this. So I just want to remind all of you to don't be scared to reach out to your professors as well. Yeah, good call, David. And then the last two long-term management techniques I recommend is I cannot stress enough the importance of sleep. I know we are faced with so many things and there's only so much time in a day and we want to really be as productive as possible. But in order to have efficient productivity and quality within our studies, we really do need to make sure we're getting adequate sleep and doing things like minimizing screen time before bed making sure maybe we're not falling asleep with the TV on to minimize distraction, things like that. And then finally, the take home is exercise. As physical therapists, we know the importance of exercise. We know how it's not only good for our physical health, it's good for our emotional health, our cognitive health. There are so many benefits to exercise over the long term. So Those are just a few tips and techniques that David and I found helpful in the short term and the long term. But again, there are so many different avenues you can go down. It really comes down to, well, what's best for you and making a plan moving forward to best help you. Now that you heard more about the different short and long term stress management techniques, how about a quote? Well, here is a quote from Walt. Disney. If you can dream it, you can do it. So continue to pursue your dreams. Continue to take the steps. Be bold, be brave, chase it down, and go get it. You are powerful. 
You are strong. You are a final frontier warrior. You will pass. Thank you very much for listening. For more information on the NPTE Final Frontier, please visit NPTEFF.com. You can also check out all of our social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Till next time, have a great day and a powerful tomorrow. Thank you once again.